Number one. Thou shalt eat tortillas and frijoles with every meal, even on Thanksgiving, because you know your damn turkey could always use a little bit of salsa. <laughs> Number two, always respect your nana, abuela, abuelita, because you know she'll beat your ass, cabrón, even if she's under five feet tall. <laughs> Number three, don't let anyone make fun of your shoes just because you got them at the swap meet. They don't understand that true rose, kettle corn, bargains, good deals, and a random guy selling his chickens is a cool place to spend your Friday and Saturday nights. <laughs> Number four, the day the minority becomes the majority is closer than we think, and no ignorant, unfair, inhumane law will get in our way. Number five, look into your mother's eyes and swear to her that you will make it in this world and you will make something of yourself. And every burrito she rode, every taco she served, every restaurant she worked in, every insult spit in her face by bosses who abused the fact that she had no papers, every trailer park, every sleepless night, counties, numbers that will never make ends meet, making sure we had a damn tortilla and our stomachs will not go to waste because that one tortilla in my stomach has become a fire. And I will redeem myself, mom. I will redeem myself and everything you did for us will not go to waste, number six. Don't forget where you came from, whether you're Chavez, Cruz, Reyes, Martinez, Garcia, or any other name. Don't forget where you came from. Number seven, French is not the language of love. Lo siento por los que nunca van a saber lo caliente que es el lenguaje español. El amor y hermoso que es cada palabra que corre por mis venas hispanas. Yo también soy americano. Yo tengo sueños. Pago taxis. Numero ocho, can you hear the sweat drip? Dripping puddles of generations into the dirt, evaporating in the hot desert sun like we never existed. The eighth commandment is the sound of his knees dropping to the ground, jagged pebbles of an American dream stabbing into his knees last summer between Rio Rico and a family praying to a Virgen de Guadalupe to protect him from the green monsters that guard this land of opportunity, not knowing that God is no longer the only one that can judge you once you're in the land of America. Number nine. Don't let them take away years of blood, sweat, and tears, books, classrooms, racial discrimination. What's next? Will history repeat itself? I dare you to try to burn through this callous skin. The harder it gets, the harder we work. You say we're worthless and we take your jobs. Do you know what hardworking Mexican hands taste like? Try not to choke on your tomatoes. <laughs> Number 10. Always remember that no matter how much soap you use, you always be brown.